The reason I fell in love with the Cacique Peninsula is it's a spectacular place and with spectacular views, but it's also just a few minutes away from two towns. So you can be at the resort when you want to be at the resort, but you also can be connected to the best of Costa Rica anytime you want to venture out. My name is Steve Case, and I'm a co-founder of America Online, run an investment company called Revolution, and also the owner of the Cacique Peninsula. My dream for Cacique is to have the best resort in the world. And that's why we spent more than a decade planning it. We weren't in a rush to get it done. We wanted to get it done right. And that means having the best possible hotels as sort of anchors, but also creating a whole set of experiences both on the peninsula and near the peninsula to make it the best resort in the world. I think a day at Costa Rica can be whatever you want. And for some people, it might be working remotely from a, the most spectacular place in the world. For other people, it might be wandering around the peninsula, going on a, on a hike, walking down to the, the beach, going to the, some of the, the pools, either at the residences or at the, at the core Waldorf Hotel. But for others, it might be venturing off property and seeing the best of Costa Rica, whether it be driving up to the volcanoes or driving into one of the, the local towns. It's all available uh, in Costa Rica. The residences at the, at the Waldorf are going to be spectacular. Obviously, the Waldorf is one of the most you know, treasured hospitality brands in the world. It's got a century-old history, uh, but it's also focused on the future and being much more of a resort brand with authenticity at the, at the core and sort of this idea of barefoot luxuries. And the residences reflect that. It really are, are designed in a custom way, an authentic way, so they feel like Costa Rica, but it also gets the best of the Waldorf. When we first bought the Cacique Peninsula, we wanted to make it less dense, fewer hotels, fewer residences, have more space that's, that's protected and, and still you know, natural. I think that's what the resort of the future needs to be. It really needs to be one with nature and in balance with nature. There's a lot of great resorts in the world and a lot of great resorts in Costa Rica, but I think what really sets Cacique apart is how it is its own place. It's this wonderful peninsula but it's connected to other communities next door and to all of, of Costa Rica. So it really is, you can design it each day for what you want to do. If you want to do something kind of quiet, just at your residence, you can do that. If you want to be you know, at the hotel, a little more action, or you can hit the water, go on a boat, maybe go surfing. It's all available to you right out your backyard. I think what's unique about what's happening in Costa Rica, which is why it reminds me of Hawaii 50 years ago, it's a great investment. I wish I'd bought land in Hawaii 50 years ago. Now it's kind of expensive. The land in Costa Rica, and particularly this land at Cacique, is, is so treasured. I think it will be a, a great investment while also being a great gathering place for families, a great place to work, and a great place to live a healthier lifestyle. Anybody who goes to see the Cacique Peninsula will fall in love with it. Uh, the first time I did, I just knew it was one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen. I've traveled the world, I've been involved in a lot of uh, resorts uh, with, with various companies, and there was something magical about Cacique. It's just a special place.